All right, we back once again. I don't know what's going on if uh, I'm not doing this video again because uh, the, the internet, my internet or something's going really slow. So every time I click on the tabs I want, it's taking forever to load them. So I'm sticking on it here. Um, I wanted to go do a quick video on uh, how Tickeron uh, gives you all the data you need in one spot, I think. Uh, for the most part, the only thing they're really missing is like if you're into volatility type of trading or gamma exposure, that type of stuff. But the general, you know, the average trader out there, uh, it's really all you need is what's here on the website. Uh, so first thing I like to do is go to the trade ideas, global, global overview, and that's what this page is. Uh, do a quick kind of glance through, uh, you know, one day changes here um, on the major index here, and we can see that gold was performing uh, pretty good. And what does it mean when gold performs really good? Generally it means is there's inflation fears, uh, and that kind of stuff. Now we had uh, the markets were performing pretty good uh, at the beginning of the day, sort of reversed because they gapped down. Uh, they sort of made this like uh, sort of like this upside down, like an end pattern where they they go positive for a while and then they reverse back down again. So sort of just like rolling over. Uh, so that's what kind of happened with gold. Gold staying relatively strong today, which again would suggest um, inflation fears. Powell talking in today and stuff. So there's some context there. And then it's going to show you each different. So there's their Dow Holdings performers. Uh, so we got healthcare leading the way there. Spy Holdings performers. We got Clorox, uh, the Vita, uh, sort of leading the way there. There's some uh, some so Caterpillar, Dow getting beat. Freeport, Altria getting beat. This was getting beat down just because um, they're removing. This is just some of the news that I saw that they're removing the jewel e-vapes or whatever they're taking those off the shelves um, you know nationwide so uh, they're the ones I believe that are that own that the jewel e-cigarettes uh, then we got some more healthcare leading the way Netflix did really well today uh, which these sort of uh, at least in 2020 ran together so who knows is there more you know COVID scare or monkey pox scare coming I'm not really sure but these were what were running what, what was running during uh, COVID uh, so keeping an eye on that, that's just uh, something that you just, you know, make a mental note of. Inverse short ETFs, uh, you can take this what you want, but here's some uh, a tail risk ETF that was uh, was popping off a little bit today. Uh, then you got uh, some more uh, short S&Ps getting bought up. So kind of nice to see that uh, if you're a bear. So those are good. Uh, so you can kind of go through all of those, but all the shorts, short ETFs, which would be short, you know, you'd be long this ETF is actually short the uh, related index. Uh, most of those are green, so um, you know, being red on the indexes, green on gold, green on the shorts. Uh, you know, that's it's you know just giving you a little bit of a hint about on what's going on broadly. Again, here's some commodities. So, uh, oil getting beat down. So you know, the inflation fears I was talking about with gold being up, maybe that's not the case. With oil being down, those two should probably both be up if there was truly going to be uh, big inflation. But there's probably a lot more other macro factors that go into uh, oil than just inflation. Uh, but you know, there's your commodities. Here's your IWM holdings. Uh, Regis, a massive uh, day, but it is a penny stock, and so. Uh, you can kind of see what's going on there. I don't pay a lot of attention to oh, idea IWM holdings. Uh, bonds. Uh, bonds are the most important thing. Way up. Uh, now, here's the thing with the bonds is it it, it, it seems as if uh, the Fed is in here buying these bonds uh, just based on the gap up TLT had, um, you know, basically with the rates, the way they're moving. Uh, they're trying super hard to keep this two-year from inverting the 10-year again uh, which was la last time that happened I mean we cratered um, for quite a few months so and I could show you that on a chart I'm not going to but I could show you but yeah so it, it appears like Fed with that ECB emergency meeting that happened last week where they basically came out and said there's fragmentation in the markets sort of seems like they just decided they're gonna come in here and buy um, the markets up so Buying these bonds up is going to sort of add a support, a supportive nature to the markets. It doesn't mean they're going to rally, but it's going to destroy your shorts. Uh, you know, if you're in, in puts, it might not destroy your shorts if you're if you're playing the inverse ETFs. But um, your puts are going to get beat up uh, just because they're not going to let it break, break the levels, break the lows. 
you know, basically on your swing low uh, for the, uh, you know, like at a daily time frame, those, it's just going to chop. And every time it pops, it's going to come back down and then it's going to get bought up again. If, as long as these, as long as credit is looking like this, it's going to be really hard, in my opinion, for the markets to, to go down uh, substantially. Yeah, and there's your international. Uh, don't pay too much attention to this. Um, really, I just kind of scanned through here your dividends. Seeing people getting back into uh, some dividend stocks here a little bit. Uh, currencies, not much of a currency or forex guy, so I can't really tell you. You know, hey, uh, you know, the Aussie means risk on, or you know, they're buying, you know, they're buying the CAD or they're selling, they're selling the yen or whatever. I don't really pay attention to all that kind of stuff, uh, but you know, I'm sure people do. So there it is, right there. There's a nice little, um, um, you know, picture of that, and then cryptos here. You got your cryptos, which uh, sort of you know, seem like they're in a, in a way doing their own thing. They're definitely in a downtrend, definitely in a risk off environment with the Fed tightening monetary policy. But uh, don't, they don't seem as bad yet as uh, one would think they would be. So uh, they sort of sort of telling me that there is still a little bit of a risk on element in the market and definitely uh, be very wary on the short side. Um, looking at all that. All right, so that's that's sort of where I start, kind of looking at that. Uh, and then you can kind of come through here and look at uh, each one of these. Again, if my uh, internet works fine. So here's our sector overview. So you got your, your tech. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom through some of these. So tech, health, real estate, you know, this is just a quick way to kind of scan, you know, before you start looking at a scanner or before you start looking at charts, uh, you really get a good sense of what's going to happen with the market uh, by looking at uh, all these different holdings, seeing what's performing well or what performed badly. Uh, so that's um, the sector of review. I don't pay attention too much to the international just because, hey, I'm in America and I trade the U.S. market and that's all I really know. That's all I really want to know for now. Uh, if I get some big money or something and I want to trade over overseas or something, maybe I will. But uh, as of right now, we stick with the U.S. Um, so here's a little screener that you can run. So uh, that little uh, that little top industries of the month screener. So basically, what it does is just like a filter for uh, the screener that's within uh, within Tigran, and you can see which is the top industries for the month right away. Uh, it looks like they're. Um, very much in this environmental services, which is, uh, that's pretty interesting. So um, definitely keep an eye out on that. And then uh, we can keep going. So you can do the same thing with a quarter for the year. Uh, something interesting, you can look at penny stocks with a positive outlook. And then over the counter price change champions. So if you're uh, one of those uh, type of risky type of traders, you can do that. Now something you can do every day is come in here and, and sort of see uh, what were the volume leaders, uh, one day gap ups, one day top gainers, one week, one month, depends on what type of trader you are. Um, but uh, you know, basically every quarter you probably wanna look at these, you know, on a monthly basis, on a weekly basis, then every day at least look at these puppies uh, right there. Keep an eye on all that. Uh, some more screeners that they got uh, sort of pre-built. So this is kind of nice. You, uh, you don't have to basically come up with your own filter. You can just kind of say, hey, look, I, I like, I want to be in dividend stocks so you come in here and you buy some dividend stocks uh, same thing with nasdaq you know russell you want to buy some high quality russell you know and I, I, I talked to a hedge fund guy a few months ago this is all that their hedge fund did was just buy they were just trading mid-cap russell stocks so uh just using a VWAP. so there's uh there's that uh, to consider uh, but yeah, uh, and then uh, you can come in here and kind of take a look at all this. So this is something I like to do every single day is come in here and look at uh, what's happening with this. So uh, every day I come in here, uh, not, I don't know if this is actually a problem yet, but I have not yet to see this actually show a bullish stock in the screener. However, there's always nice bearish plays to be had. So. Um, I'm not sure if that's a problem with the data yet, but uh, it's hard to tell because right now the market sucks, so there's not a lot of bullish plays to be had, and uh, so having bearish plays makes a lot of sense. But I, my guess is it's probably a problem with the, the data feed that's coming through here, at least for me. Um, and then you can have all these different 
uh, screeners coming through here for this as well. So I really like this trade ideas page because uh, you don't really need to go much, go elsewhere to sort of get a handle on what the market's up to right now. Um, and and you kind of start there, and then you can then you can come into the screener and go, okay, what do we know? We know that they're buying healthcare. We know that they're they were buying Netflix. Uh, you know, they're buying environmental services. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can find some stocks to trade from those uh, different themes. So, uh, yeah, anyways, hopefully you like this. Uh, please use my, use my link in the description if you're going to set yourself up with some ticker on services. And uh, hopefully you like this. Leave a comment in the description. Peace.